Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. If this or this is your idea of how to pack some comics, you're doing it wrong. All right, so we all have received some really bad packaging at some point in our life. I can't count the number of times I have seen this, and maybe if I was lucky, some of this, a book put between this, slipped in here and sent out. If I did that, that would almost be okay, because at least this cardboard is rigid. But I can't see how many times I've seen, like, DiGiorno pizza boxes or something that are like really thin cardboard or cardboard that's been like was part of a flap and then they put it in there and they don't think that somehow that fold is going to fold in the mail. It's atrocious. And then there's the people that overcompensate, right? They take this and they take packing tape and they, they're going to take your bagged and boarded comics and they're going to tape this to the board and then they're going to take this and they're going to tape this all around and tape it all up and now you've got to sit there and play delicate surgery try to get in or even worse <laughs> they use duct tape how many times have you seen duct tape used to pack comics way too many times painter's tape it's okay now please Stay away from the stuff that's wider than this. The wide stuff, no good. And some of you guys have gone to using painter's tape and you like to use it a lot. You guys love painter's tape. And you go, and some of you are at least nice enough to go, oh, I folded it over. I made a pull tab. Yay, pull tab action. And yeah, it's nice. It's great, especially if you use this thinner stuff. It's not awful. Uh, but it's completely unnecessary. There's no need to tape books down, especially to a Gemini. Uh, and put all this tape over here i'm going to show you the way that i package these up in a gemini mailer hassle-free packing it's going to completely change the game your books are protected you didn't have to encase them in carbonite they're going to get to their destination safe and sound and more importantly you're not going to hear any comments about your packaging when they open up, they're just going to open it up and go straight to the books. All right, so here's how I package books. We've got ourselves a stack of books. This is uh, our recent winner on Only Slabs here, Trev, the shipping guru. He's got himself some books. The first thing I want to do for me, I'm going to take these books and I'm going to go ahead and alternate them front to back, front to back. Why? Because A, the pressure of the book is going to keep it so that way we're alternating spine sides. We're not going to get any kind of roll or anything out of it. It's going to help to minimize that. Next, I'm going to take two extra backing boards, at least, and I'm just going to put them on either side. Why? Eh, extra protection. It does not going to hurt. It doesn't hurt anything. Now, I use uh, this perforated Packy, uh, bubble ro rolls of bubble wrap I buy on Amazon. Uh, it's two sheets of bubble wrap. Okay. And this is why, guys, you don't need to use a lot of, you know, I don't need to tape this together because once I put this all together, the Gemini is going to hold everything together. I'm just going to take a sit, my bubble wrap and I'm going to fold it over once and the other way. The two pieces just clears it here. And now, I got I am going to put something to hold this to hold this together. I like to use a Rob Fat Stack sticker because I'm all about branding, but also I find these stickers are super easy. The one stickers I use, they come off the bubble wrap super easy. So it holds it together without being all place. Now, all you have to do is fold the fold and tuck. It's like Christmas paper, wrapping paper. I take this side and I'm just gonna fold it under. So the piece, same thing. So I have this little edge, bam, spin it around. This side, fold and tuck it in. Now that all holds that together. I've got these two extra flaps, but we'll take care of that in just a moment. Slide that off to the side. And we need a Gemini. I have a, happen to have right here a brand new fresh Gemini that's ready to go. 
I'm going to take my books and I'm going to just fold it or just roll it over like this. Just like that. Now I need to get back into this because I realized I forgot to put something in there. No problem. Again, comes right off. I need to include the swag pack. We're going to give them a discount coupon for pressing at the Rogue Trader, which will benefits Comic Screen Cancer, a set of Rob Fatstack stickers, a set of Comic Vet stickers, a set of Only Slab stickers, an Only Slabs magnet, and the Fat Stacks business card. We'll button it back up. <clears throat> Again, easy peasy with that. We're going to tuck this in. Spin and tuck. Oops. Then again, I just roll it. Take this down. Now the weight of that books holds it right there. And when I close this up, that now holds it all together. It's not going to come undone. It's held together by the Gemini. And guess what? I don't need to tape this because that will be held together again by the Gemini. All I need now is to grab my packing gun. I can put one piece of tape. That's it. Now you see when he goes to get into this, all he's got to do is one slice, open it up. The box is going to open up. We saw already when I had to undo the bubble wrap, one sticker comes off easy, easy access his books. His books are super well protected because they're bubble wrapped and they're in the gem in a fresh Gemini mailer, which has plenty of fresh space, uh, crush space. If you do use reuse Gemini mailers, that's fine. Just check to see, are they crushed? If they're crushed, don't use them. Recycle them in your recycling bin and get a new one because that crush space means it's no longer got the rigidity to help protect the comics. But that's that. Then all I got to do is I'm going to take one of these flat rate envelopes and I'm just going to stick this right inside there because my experience is for the most part, my, my Gemini mailers end up being over one pound. So this is the cheapest way to ship anywhere in the country and they get there in like two to three business days. And because it goes priority mail instead of ground, it tends to be handled a little bit better. Then for, finally for my final uh, branding, I really like to take, put a fat stack sticker on there. Uh, now, I don't do this on international because I don't want some international to call out, make them think that it's like a business transaction. It's just a gift. But that's it, guys. Easy, simple, hassle-free. There you have it. What better scenario could you imagine getting that? You going to do your unboxing. You open it up. Hassle-free. It just opens. One slice. The books are out and free. You're talking about the books. The person who's recording your unbo unboxing product from you is talking about the comics. They're not talking about, oh my God, this packaging is ridiculous. Oh my God, oh, bu du duct tape and packing tape and oh, I'm having to do surgery. None of that. Hassle-free packing. Try it out for yourself, guys. Uh, I know I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, and everyone, hey, if you found this interesting at all uh, or entertaining, please hit that like button. Uh, remember, 100% of the monetization this channel gets goes to Comics Curing Cancer. You're hitting that thumbs up button helps this channel get more views and therefore more ad revenue, therefore helps cancer. So unless you like cancer, hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, guys, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, especially me. I mean, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.